Well, hello everybody. Today I'm gonna show you what's inside of a Nebespeher Cooltronic Parking Cooler. This is used to cool the driver's cabin down while the vehicle is stationary and the engine is off. Um, this is not such a big uh, capacity unit as uh, we also must consider the batteries and um, the unit must work for about eight hours without uh, without discharging the batteries completely and also it has to ensure that the the engine of the truck can start after operation of course uh, this is also built in with uh, battery protection and the unit will stop as soon as uh, it measures 21.5 volts at, uh, at the battery. So, uh, this is from the outside. As you can see, we will take the top down to look inside of, of it and uh, see the main components of this unit. So, on the top, on the top case of the unit there is a fan which ensures the condenser, the condenser cooling and uh, we will move on to the inside of the unit and this is much this is about what's inside of the unit we can see as a component the condenser this is also what you have uh, in front of the cars usually for the ac to run this is where the cooling agent, the cooling gas, uh, transforms from um, vapor to liquid. Okay, on the left and on the right side, we have two compressors. You will probably ask yourself why there are two compressors when we are um, trying to save the battery of the truck but actually this is uh, this is something that the the fabricant calculated and it's uh, better to use two smaller compressors in order to regulate the heat, the cooling capacity more exactly than using one bigger compressor so both of the compressors have uh, an electronic electronic module and uh, this, as you see, there are two different types. And uh, these two compressors can, uh, with the use of uh, the ECU, can be, can be controlled in such a way that uh, the cooling capacity is always at the point at, when, at where it's needed. How the unit changes the cooling capacity, it's uh, quite simple, it's uh, with, with the use of uh, the rotation of the compressors. If, uh, if the unit needs a larger capacity, then both compressors run on, uh, on full rotation and when the capacity needed is lower, the ECU will slow down the compressors exactly to the needed requirements. So two compressors actually maybe you think uh, mean twice twice the problems but actually these units are uh, quite reliable and uh, we had very few problems with them. So uh, this means actually we have two cooling circuits in the same condenser and in the same evaporator which is under this and I will not open it because it is sealed and uh, if I open it I would have to remake the seal and uh, could be that water is getting inside here and uh, we don't want that. So you can just imagine that the evaporator is here with a blower okay so let's talk a little bit about the circuit so this is the compressor and this is the high pressure of the compressor here is where 
the compressed gases of refrigerant come into the condenser here they are getting cooled down with the use of the fan which I showed you earlier and at the exit there is a slight filter which also acts as a, a liquid receiver so all the liquid builds up here and then it comes to these uh, very thin capillary tubes and uh, goes straight into the evaporator and here when the unit is working we can see some uh, frost a little bit of frost which is normal and it's going to the evaporator here by the use of the blower the evaporator is getting warmed up and then to close the circuit it exits the evaporator and uh, back into the compressor and this is the cycle that goes on uh, when the unit is working so i will not take the unit out of the box but i will show you some pictures of how this unit looks inside the truck and how it is mounted of course this unit comes with uh, different installation kits for uh, depending on the truck on which it gets installed on and uh, the installation is done on um, on the hatch of the vehicle so the hatch is uh, demounted completely and uh, by the use of uh, ceiling foam the unit is mounted and uh, it's only connected to battery by two wires so installation is uh, pretty straightforward and simple we also have a control panel on which we can start stop the unit set the temperature and so on and there is also a remote control available which uh, has most of the of the functions of the display okay so um, that's about it for today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon with other uh, special products and whatever well, whatever the cat drags in the, the workshop okay take care everybody bye bye